coming to a home near you. Poised to take over your job is the new artificial intelligence. Delivering poor quality in a quicker time frame, taking all the payment back to the company that pays you. Blending people like you for the crap quality of the images it generates. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll give you a penny for your troubles, but we're not happy about it, okay? Are you sure we have to give our contributors anything? Yeah, um, yeah we're, we're told we have to give them something. But the good news is, is that the tiniest amount ticks that ethics yep. box. Yes, but isn't the AI doing literally all of the work? So why do contributors get anything? The ethics committee are saying that because we were using contributor images and property, that they have to be compensated in some way. That's ridiculous. It's just a small amount. It's tiny, really. All right, tell me about this tool. How does it work? If you look on the screen, our customers will have to go first to our website and then they will click on the generate tool. And the tool would take 10 to 15 seconds to generate a completely unique image. Show me. Okay, how, how about a caveman flying a plane solving a Rubik's Cube? Great example. Mm -hmm. It's just generating, just a few seconds. Those images are terrible. I love it. We can hide behind this tool as a reason as to why contributor earnings are dropping, whilst we take more of the share that's rightfully theirs. Because in reality, no one's gonna be downloading these images. What's the projected drop in earnings for contributors and how long is it gonna take before we can take it all basically? Yeah. We, we all know it's currently a race to the bottom with contributor earnings on stock platforms and including ours and we've steadily been slashing contributor earnings, which is great news for us, but that goes straight into our pocket. The best news is, is that we feel we can accelerate this drop in contributor earnings by, by blaming the tool, by which point it's too late to go back because it's opening Pandora's box. We won't, of course, tell them, our contributors, that the AI tool is to blame when we release it, but we can, we can go back and say, oh, it looks like this was a a byproduct of this, sorry. Now I've just got a couple of other items that I wanna go through, which one of them has just dawned on me. What's stopping contributors amassing tons of images and then just uploading those through their contributor portals? They're gonna start demanding earnings for those and obviously that's the wrong direction. We don't wanna go down that road. There are a ton of free tools that can do this, right? The, yeah, there are some free AI tools. But we've completely banned AI generated art, okay? Okay. And what reason have you published? We gave no reason. It's, it's our platform, right? So what we say goes. We just banned it for them. But between us, of course, it's because we want to do away with contributors and we don't want to give them a lifeline to hold on to. They're just an expense, right? Okay. You'll do well. Okay. Lastly, I want to see a live demo. I want to have confidence that this AI tool has what it takes to take out our contributors. Go. You know what to do. Okay, the AI is in position. Uh, it, it typically he'll infiltrate contributors' homes. This uh, particularly handsome contributor is completely unaware, as you can see, like they all are. The AI will locate them catch up to them and give them no room to escape okay you can take him out now <clears throat> he'll grab them track them around pull their hair give them friction burns call them names and then if that doesn't work he'll he'll just duff them up a bit until the contributor gives up with <clears throat> stock photography okay that works for me release the ai tool what a bleak outlook, eh? 
perhaps a bit over the top and exaggerated, but stock platforms are releasing AI tools, which is, I suspect, going to negatively impact earnings. Mine are already dropping on Shutterstock. You can check out the announcement and the AI tool itself, links in the description. Personally, I think the tools need more refinement to be usable for customers, which means there's still space for creators. Now, if you want to make the most of this space for creators, then check out this video on niche stock, which I think is one of the best ways in which you can counteract AI. Whew.